Yeah, so welcome, dear class. Uh, today is, uh, what have we got now? 29th day, uh, let me turn on my video. 29th day of uh, November, one more day to go in November 2017. And today we'll be looking at making comparisons uh, among some operating systems. Uh, I, I propose to you that we should look at Android, look at iOS, and look at the Windows operating system, although there are several uh, operating systems. And I will uh, preface our class with uh, a, a short introduction of uh, operating systems. There's a table that I, was, that I saw on Wikipedia just before class, and uh, that table uh, is comprehensive enough for me to use as guide for our lesson. Uh, let me go back, let me go to that table and uh, I will introduce it. Yeah, so by the table, we're able to see uh, a, a number of operating systems. We have the Android, iOS, Windows 10, Blackberry 10, Tizen, Selfish OS. Uh, we'll be concentrating in this class uh, on the Android, iOS, and Windows, uh, not necessarily the mobile edition. And the, I will just spend about five minutes giving you the highlights uh, from this table. So uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to take this first three. Uh, the company for the Android is Google, uh, and the one for iOS is Apple. Uh, the one for my, uh, Windows 10 is Microsoft. Recall that we did my Windows 10 development last class. Market share as uh, Wikipedia has documented it from an entry which I retrieved some 10 minutes ago. Android has 86.1% market share. iOS, that's the Apple group, 13.7%. And mobile 10, uh, Windows 10, excuse me, for the mobile, 0.3%. Uh, the current version of Android is 8.0, uh, so we have in this entry. Uh, iOS 11.1 and 10, so and so for the Windows uh, 10 mobile. Uh, current version of this August this year, November this year for the iOS, August some months ago for this. The license is the OS family, uh, the operating system family, Linux, Darwin for the Apple iOS and Microsoft Windows for here. The supported CPU architecture is also given here. Uh, the programming of the operating system we have for uh, Android, C, C++, Java, Kotlin, and all of this. Uh, they are almost like, you know, the, the very close uh, with that of the iOS. Uh, the Windows is you know, slightly different, although having the C, C++ part as uh, a component of it. Uh, let's see, device independent system updates. Uh, we have some entries here. Wireless system updates, CPU accelerated GUI feature, and all of that. So, and it gives us some things about the controls uh, of the operating systems. As I said, we're just looking at the, the accessibility features. We're looking at uh, this first three, Android, iOS, and Windows 10. In this case, it's giving us information on the mobile uh, devices. The app ecosystem, uh, the Android, Google Play, iOS, uh, App Store, this Windows 10, and Windows Store, which you get from the mobile uh, system. So for today, uh, I'm going to now turn over to you uh, to you can see it's a very long list of comparisons and this is quite uh, uh, quite good quite good yeah I'm going to turn over to you to uh, give the the uh, your presentations on the three uh, operating systems the Android the iOS by Apple and Windows uh, 10 and also to Windows and to give us uh, information on their philosophy, uh, backward compatibility, and the, all the other criteria that uh, I presented to you. So that being said, it's now my pleasure to ask Bileyi uh, to take the floor. Bileyi. Yes, thank you very much, sir. Yes, uh, the timestamp is uh, what time? Uh, 
Again. 7, 7.40, sir. 7.40 p.m. That's correct. Yes. Billy, really, yeah, I trust you. So, just a minute. Loading your, your slide. Yes. Please go ahead. Yes. Billy, please go ahead. Yes. Thank you. Good evening, class. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Wonderful. Yes, I can see it already. Yes, so sorry. So my second outline is just my outline. Okay. Based on what Prof has just given us. So I move over to the uh, introduction, which is the third slide, just giving us uh, the vivid point of view of what operating system OS is. It's a background, it's an interface between the hardware and other programs. Very, very important without it. Uh, the, the system is there, whether mobile or PC, it's just an ordinary dummy. So I move over <laughs> to the next slide. Yes. Uh, just the definition of iOS, and we can all share from that slide. Very easy and simple. Uh, the high there, some refers it to as internet. I tell you, it's an iPhone operating system. Yes. I move over to the next slide, which is the Android operating system. Uh, we have all, I believe most of us these days are on smartphones. Some of our doctors in their house, like Dr. Akindo, do we say we are all smart students these days. So quickly, we move over to the next slide, which is talking about the Windows OS. The Windows OS, like we have talked about, I'm talking with the current uh, master students, so I believe we are in line with what we are talking about. That's to do with the graphical user interface. So, so the business of the day, yes. when we are talking about philosophy, these days, even in my place of work, they have found out that my idea to things has changed. And it has changed as a result of the philosophy I borrow from a able distinguished professor. <laughs> and, and really? I must be myself. Okay? <laughs> so, whether you like it or not, that is the philosophy yes. of one thing or the other. <laughs> Thank you.
next uh, slide, a level, and that's where I have my reference. Thank you very much. For Wonderful. This. Thank you very much for keeping well within time, Gwede. Uh, uh, like you owned up at the beginning, you are, you are, you are quite a few typographical errors, comparison, Android, some, some type of errors. I know I gave you very little time to prepare your slides, but uh, next time do what we can call quality assurance of your slides. Just go over them very quickly before uh, you press the send button or you hit the attach button in the uh, uh, Skype chat window. But very well done. Now I'm going across now to take uh, comments. I'm wondering whether I shouldn't do this. Uh, let, let, let's all present totally first. So as to save time, because we have six people presenting today. Uh, so, uh, who is the next person based on our listing? Who is the next person based on our listing? After Billy, Solomon, sir. Solomon, sir. Okay, Solomon, so you are taking the 841. So, Solomon, uh, we're loading your your slide. Yes, so you have the floor. You see how... Billy has presented. I mean, it went straight for the jugular of the of, of the issues. So don't spend time telling us the defining. You know, I like what Billy said that this is a master's class. So he focused quickly on the three things I asked you to look at, rather than saying uh, iOS is this. Talk as we are talking to primary school children. So you must know your audience, know those you are talking, to, uh, you are sharing your ideas with. That means you know the minimum. That they should know. So uh, Solomon, you always fall into that trap. You begin to tell, tell us, you know, things that uh, primary school, as if we're primary school children. So please go ahead. You have uh, uh, six minutes. Thank you, sir. Uh, welcome, class. Uh, I'm about to discuss the comparison between oh, iOS, Windows, and uh, Android operating system. Yeah, you don't and have Android. You don't have Android on on, on just your slide. You okay. said differences between iOS and Windows in terms of their this, this. You, okay. do, you don't have uh, this thing there. Typographical error due to the rushing uh, mode. The Android uh, this thing, information is down. If I move down, you could see them there. So uh, I want to say that uh, based on what my colleague has just said, actually, uh, Mac iOS is uh, created by Apple and it runs on a uh, basis of uh, Unix. Why uh, operating system, I mean Windows operating system compared to PC, is run based on the idea of IBM. Then I move over to slide 4, where I talk about the uh, philosophy. I do not want to dwell here. The slide has uh, explained itself. So I want to move to slide 5. Then I have Android philosophy. Android philosophy is as a result of uh, Google tried to come up with a, a front end access uh, point uh, as a service to its customer. And uh, Android was created for primary reason to help customers access Google services on non PC devices. Slide 6 Degree of freedom of iOS. Uh, 
other kind of uh, woman. They can also work with windows without having issues. I move over to my slide 12. Here we have Windows operating system compatibility. A lot of people find it easy to use Windows because the developers of the software have maintained a basic features from earlier versions. And that's what we are talking about compatibility. The new version will be able to adapt to the older version. And the new hardware are easily recognized by the new uh, operating system. My, uh, I will not do that so much. I move to slide, slide 14. Android compatibility. Android compatibility programs define technical details of Android platform and provide you to ensure developers application run on variety of uh, software. Example of it is SDK. So I move over to slide 15 because of time and that is where my reference is. Thank you very much. Sir. Thank you very much uh, Solomon. Thank you very much. Yeah, good, good presentation. You also had uh, quite a number of errors, spelling errors and all of that on your slides. As I said, uh, let us do our best to ensure that we clean up uh, all such errors, even though you are in a hurry. But, you know, our le le lectures, our seminars are put for everybody in the world to see. And uh, it will not be nice for them to see all of these uh, errors. Like you note, like uh, Billy, you noted, iOS, the I there is small, I lowercase, not big I, like you showed in there. And uh, you have issues with uh, spelling, spelling of compatibility and all of that. But all in all, very good presentation. Thanks. So, who is next? By our. Lawa. Yes, Lawa. Let me see. You always have good slides. So, let's see what happens today. Okay. Lawa, you have the floor. Take it. Go for it. Yeah, you are, you are, you know, like I said, you take take your time to look to read through your your slides. Faculty of Education having faculty as lower case, it would be nice to have it as you know cap capital F, and then comparing Android iOS, I there should be lower case. Uh, I'm not going to take uh, take any time now to be correcting this, but you just all do your best to. Put your uh, best foot forward, uh, so to speak. Go ahead, Adima uh, Lawa. The floor is to yours. Yeah. Um, good evening. So I'll be presenting on comparing Android, iOS, and um, Windows operating system. So on my first slide, I defined what an operating system is, as we all know. And um, I'll be moving up over to the third slide, where there's a graph um, of um, the OS market share in the whole world. I will see that um, the windows and others are having a very low market share when it comes to um, users in the whole world. And um, that of the iOS and Android are the ones that are most used at the same time. So I'm moving on to the next slide. I'm going to talk about the number of available apps. We get to see on the slide that um, iPhone has quite a large number of apps. I iPhone and Amazon stores. They have a very high um, number of slides of, of, um, um, of um, sorry, apps. They are now followed by the Android and the um, OVI. And the last one, at least, I think, is um, that of Amazon and um, the Windows. Uh, sorry, I didn't know that. Are you taking US to be the world? US is not the world. This is giving you a number of available apps in the US yes. per month. Yes. Please yes. emphasize that. There, there's no harm. There's no harm. But don't give uh, a, the impression. I'm sorry I'm interrupting you, but don't give the impression that this is what you have globally. Uh, although it's a true, a good representation of the global, uh, the global uh, picture, but it's good for you to say this is the U.S. data. Please carry on. Okay. Yeah, this is the U.S. data. So I'm moving on to the next slide. When I talked about the developers' interest, um, developers, apps, the app developers, which they are, well, this slide is trying to concentrate on which operating system are they so interested in? And we see that on um, this um, um, illustration, I have the iPhone as um, topping the list. They have 92% of um, interest. 
and the lowest is the mid-field. So if we are going to be putting the spotlight on the three OS that we want to, you will see that um, the windows have a very low interest in the app developers. So I'm moving on to the next slide. Why I talk about the programming language of um, the OS that we are talking about tonight. So the Android are designed with, uh, they are written with Java, the iOS update you see, and the Windows are the, is the C, C++ and the, the C Sharp. So I'm moving on to the next slide where I talk about development platform. So this is where we talk about um, the um, how the assets that developers actually have. So on the Android OS is an open platform that allows the third party tools and it can reach all components, unlike the iOS that have very restrictive guidelines and they have very they have big set of tools. The Windows is an open platform, though they have some guidelines that protect um, the kind of apps that have been designed on the iOS. I'm talking about the next slide I'll talk about the multitasking ability. The Android OS are very practical, they're dynamic, they can be changed, they can be manipulated somehow, and um, they are highly fragmented. So in the US, 80 Android models, in the US, we have like 80 Android models, but we have like nine iOS models. And Android um, devices are all, always have this kind of poor battery performance. But uh, if you look at the OS, they also have a very good notification system because, you know, they are linked to the, our emails and all sort of social media as you can get instant notification on them. And that also goes to the iOS too. It has a stable and explicit platform and also a fixed set of tools. The Windows 2 is versatile and has virtual connection, you see. On our Windows 10, we have the Xbox already built into it, and it also can connect to um, the, um, well, um, what's it? There's a, the, our email synchronizing, everything is easy. Just, it has this uh, kind of um, similarity with the Android OS. So I'm moving on to the next slide where I talked about security. The Android OS has access control, has written on web security, and message sent when they're always encrypted. So, when we talk about permission-based access control, to that, that statistics manifest, user are presented with list at installation time. And when we talk about availability of apps, the Android has, has a lot of variety of apps in their app stores. We have a lot because they, they, they give um, space and um, liberty to all these developers to develop varieties of apps. So I'm going to the next slide where I'm talking about security on iOS. It also has access control, resolution, and web security, and it's also encrypted. And, uh, you know, it's kind of secure. It has this geolocation where you can track your device in any way it is in the world. And it also has open risk. That is, if you mistakenly lost that device, you can actually wipe all that's on your device remotely. So, I'm going on to the next slide where I talk about Windows. Windows OS in this, in this um, term has some kind of similarity with um, the Android OS. It has access control, isolation, and web security. Um, it also has... Um, also, a app market space. That's the Windows um, app. So apps are allowed, but it's in comparison to the Android, they don't have a lot of apps like that. You have two more minutes, uh, Lawa. Two, um, two more minutes, Lawa. Two more minutes. Kind of um, liberty to Android to developers. You, you have two more the minutes. Android in fact, less than. Wonderful as always. Yeah, uh, I do a as always. You know, very, very good, very good uh, presentation. And uh, we'll take questions and comments at the end of it all. 
So I, I think uh Busayo, you are you next? Busayo, are you there? Okay, Busayo is not on. Let's take uh Jerry. Jerry. Yeah, I'm there, sir. You are not. Jerry, take on Jerry, you come back, Busayo. Jerry, you are sir. on. Jerry, what's your timestamp? Jeremiah 411. Okay, let's see what, where we go there. Yeah. No, that's Busayo. Jeremiah, what's yours? Jeremiah. Evening, sir. What's your timestamp? Or you've not submitted anything? Busayo, take the floor. Busayo, are you there? That's my time stamp. Go ahead, yes. Now, good evening, class. Good, good evening, sir. I will be talking on the differences between uh, Windows for Windows operating system, the Android operating system, and the iOS operating system. Now, nextly, let's move to my slide. Uh, okay, hold on now. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, when you have two things, you see differences between. I'm sure that you have been... Well, you have been told this in one of your other seminars or classes in the in the master's group that when you have more than two, there is differences among. So you are probably now here looking at differences among Windows, Android, and iOS, and your eye should be lowercase, regardless of whether it's on your title page. Is that okay? Hello, are you there? Okay, sir. Yeah, carry on. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm there, sir. I'm saying thank you, sir. Yeah. Okay, sir. Now, on my slide two, philosophy of Windows. Now, the, the philosophy of the Windows operating system lies in its graphical user interface. Now, that is to say the Windows operating system is built primarily for its graphical user interface. On my slide three, I have the philosophy of Android. Now, the Android operating system was carved out from the art of the Linux operating system. That is to say, the philosophy of Android is based on the Linux operating system. On my slide four, the philosophy of iOS. Yeah, now, yeah. You, you, iOS, no, listen, listen, listen. Like, like I said earlier, I'm sure you know the correct thing, but it, the, maybe something happened. Yes, yeah. The I there is lowercase. I, I is lowercase. not, not, Notice, yes. Noted, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Now, the iOS operating system is based on the Unix philosophy. That is, iOS is a variant of the Unix operating system. It is mostly used by the iPhones and iPads. Now, on my slide six, let's go to degree of freedom. Now, the degree of freedom for Windows Phone. Now, the Windows Phone is not an open source. But now, when I say it's not an open source, that is to say that the Windows operating system does not actually provide access to the code. That is the foundation of the operating system. Now, on my on my slide six, where I have the degree of freedom for Android. Now, the Android operating system is the only operating system out of the three major contenders here that releases its source code under open source license. Now, that is to say that. Uh, the the Android operating system provides access to the code that makes that to say if you are a user now if you want to make use of that code you can add, you can actually modify the code to suit your own particular need. Now from on my slide seven, that is the degree of freedom for iOS. Now iOS takes a more different approach with a closed source proprietary structure. Now it focuses on user experience with a simple interface around the central home screen. Now, but unfortunately, to the iOS is only available on Apple device and it's nowhere close to being an open source operating system. That is, it does not provide access to the code that also that is also the foundation of the operating system. Now, lastly, on my on my slide, now I have my backward compatibility. Now, what do we, what what do I mean by when we say backward compatibility? It actually refers to hardware or software system that can use the interface of an older fashion or probably an operating system that support future of an older version. For instance, now, you will agree with me that all software running on Windows 7, for instance, or probably Windows 8, will simply work... Hey, hey, you have not great. got out of this your window something again. Windows, my friend. We said it almost one Windows. million times last uh, uh, class. Yes, go ahead. 
Thank you, sir. Now, I said, for instance, all software running on Windows 7 or Windows 8 would simply work when you upgrade to Windows 10. Now, even apart from that, if you look at many Android applications, you would also know that many of these Android applications can, are not available on iOS or Windows. Now, the only way you can have an Android app uh, running on iOS or on this or on Windows Windows operating system is where you actually use some certain software like Android Studio. That's if you're using Android, you yeah. know. That's for that is for backward compatibility of uh, iOS, Android, and Windows Phone. And lastly, I have my references. Yes, you. you do. Well done. Thank you, uh, Busayo. Thank you, uh, Jeremiah. Are you ready? Okay, I can see that uh, Uchena, you. Yes, sir. No, I mean you should show that you are ready by 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 coming on quickly as soon as I called you. Uh, Ugo, Ugo, where your the, the file is still loading. I cannot locate it now. So Jeremiah, what what's the what's uh, the timestamp? Jeremiah, what's up? Six o three. What concerns Solomon about nine o nine? What concerns you there? Six o three. Yes, we we seen it. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. So, uh, loading. Okay. So Jeremiah, you have the floor. You have seven slides. The file. Go ahead, Jeremiah. Okay. talk about, about comparison of iOS, Windows, and Android. Uh, the last class we had, we discussed on the system, but today we're going to look at the difference between these three systems. Uh, I'll start with Android, the philosophy of, of Android. It it's works or it runs on Linux kernel. That is Linux operating system. So developed by Google, primarily for touch screen mode, powerful. So it's it's used in smartphones and tablets. The C++ program that is used to write Android uh, Android applications, and also Java. Then the Android Studio, meant for writing. Uh, Android uh, code. The latest version of Android uh, uh, operating system that we have now is Android 8.0. And 8.0 was released this November. The iOS, the iOS operating system is also a mobile operating system, but it's developed developed by Apple, the Apple Corporation, and it's ex exclusively for Apple hardware only, unlike the Android, that is the, the open source uh, operating system. Yeah, Jeremiah, and your your voice is not coming out. China uh, phone. Yeah, it's a uh, jerky. See that China phone now downloads, they download Android uh, operating system and they're running it on their uh, hardware. So the iOS is, 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 is not a free to hear software. It's not, it uses the Objective C. <laughs> Jeremiah, your, your voice is not coming out qu quite nice. Uh, I'm not too sure we we'll want to continue with you. Uh, Jeremiah. The latest version is. Yeah, the latest version is uh, iOS 11. And the Windows operating yeah, uh, sorry. system. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, Jeremiah. Jeremiah, you can't. <laughs> you are just going on. No break, no wrong. jump. Jeremiah. Side, yeah, I mean, you are just going to break no jam. I mean, just listen. Uh, uh, for it, what it's worth repeating that okay. this iOS is I is lowercase. 
and in one place you got yes, to I hear you. Hear hold on, hold on. You got it to be latest version is the way you even wrote it here is uh, quite interesting. Uh, exactly how not to write it. And I would talk about philosophy here. I think you are getting the matter of philosophy not too right. But can you progress very quickly because your voice is not coming out uh, nicely? Progress very quickly on this your slides so that you can we can uh, finalize with you. So go ahead, Jerry. All right, sir. Thank you very much, sir. So I'll move quickly to the degree of freedom. The degree of freedom, like the Android, like I said, is an open source of prison system where every other device or every other hardware can go there and uh, install the uh, Android operating system. Like I said, even the China phone, the as well, uh, they as well use the Android operating system on their devices. The iOS is not uh, free. It's not free. You have to pay for it. Then the Windows as well is not free. Yeah, and, you see, I, I'm getting some good pimples. So hold on, Apple hold on. Before you move, I'm sure you are going to play back the video of this class, and uh, you'll find it, Macintosh is not the way it is spelled. I mean, you people are not too, uh, you are careless about your spellings, your grammar, and all of that. Uh, I, I think you should pay more attention uh, to this. This is not the spelling of Macintosh. Uh, go ahead anyway. All right. All right, sir. So, the the uh, the Windows, the, the let me say the desktop version of Android is because uh, Android is developed by Google, so they have they also have another version that runs right on the desktop, and uh, that version is Chrome, so that's the made by Google as well. That's an operating system made by Google. Then the Macintosh operating system is a notebook version of iOS. And the Windows, which is just only one platform across, just only one device, just only one software across all platforms. So I quickly move to the backward compatibility. So it's a state whereby uh, a newly developed software can actually work on an old system, or a newly developed uh, hardware can run the whole operating system. So we want to look at all these three. The first one is the Android. The Android compatibility. We have a case where we have a case where uh, some applications of uh, I take for instance KitKat. KitKat is Android 4.4. The uh, uh, the software developed for KitKat can actually be run like Lollipop, which is five minutes. So, but for the case of iOS, their new operating system is iOS 11. But they still have the problem of running some uh, some software that was made for uh, iOS 7 to run on. Uh, the Jeremiah, please, iOS. your last sentence is what? Why? Your last sentence. Just run this up, please. Okay. So the Windows operating system is very compatible. The Windows operating system is very compatible. You can run uh, Windows 19 software on Windows 10. Uh, uh, software. So all right, that's thank you. All right, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, let's see if uh, we have the uh, Uchena slide there now. Okay, fine. So you have the floor, madam. You have been missing class, and that's going to uh, you have good. There's some penalty to that, though. Uh, you're missing class. That's not how to be part of a master's class. So please go ahead, madam. Uh, we have your. Good evening, madam. My first slide. Oh, sorry, this is the updated version of what I did. My first slide is supposed to host the title of the course and the presenter and uh, the name of our professor. Fortunately, I have misplaced that and I loaded this one. So moving on to my first slide, my second slide. I have the definition of operating system. And the diagram shows how operating system connects the user and then the hardware. So moving on to my second slide, I have examples of operating system. These are the different types of operating system that we have. There are so much more, but our discussion is going to be limited to Microsoft Windows and the um, Apple iOS and.
Madam, hold on, hold on, so that we don't waste our time with you. Uh, these are not the subtopics I ask you to look at. I ask you to look at the degree of freedom, uh, the backward compatibility, uh, and uh, what else again, class? Philosophy. Yes. So I, I I can't find anything like that here. So don't waste our time. So I think that's that. Uh, I don't think I want to. Uh, I've just run through your slides. I can't find anything based on what I asked you to do. It's just like my asking you a question on uh, on those three uh, segments. Are you answering a different thing? So that's clearly uh, not on. Okay, class. Uh, Uchena, you got to be more serious in this class. You have missed classes, and you even this one. You just uh, the last. I think you, you uploaded it some, let me even see, you uploaded it some few minutes ago. That's at 9.09. .09. This is 9.20, whatever. So I sent it earlier. It couldn't deliver. I sent it earlier. It uh, couldn't upload and I have sent it again. Yeah, yeah. Recall that you have missed about four of our, of our classes. You missed four classes and you... Anyway, the penalties are there. Okay. Uh, can we have general questions for anybody? Do you have some questions for particular persons or some general questions? Anybody? Okay, now. Yes, sir. Uh, who is that? Bele, sir. Bele, yes. yes. My question is just general. Or Very good. Sir, based yes. On, I want it to be based on the speech platform that we are looking at. Very the good. The Android, the iPhone, and the Windows. Yes. It's the battery life and management. I want somebody to just give me a clue. You know, I, I want whether you can just give me an idea about how long or how large, you know, the battery life of this tree yeah. eh, lasts. Yeah, right? okay. I can, I can answer that very quickly. You see, the battery life will depend on the capacity of the battery and your usage. I'm sure you know all of that. Now, uh, if you look at this, this is one of my old iPhones, which uh, I had to change the battery on account of... Uh, some issues other than you know battery life but you see if i put this on uh by the end of the day or rather by the following morning i'm ready to recharge because now I'm going to conk out or give me a red a red mark there. now this one is uh, a, a samsung this one is almost like this iphone and within a day it's ready to to go now there is uh uh, there are some other devices that I have that with about a uh, minimum of 3,000 milliampere of battery. That one will last, you know, for about two or three days. So the battery life has is dependent on the capacity of the battery itself and the usage. Uh, if, for instance, like I have this, there are so many apps that are on, and I press this button, and I close all the apps. Just give me a second. Come on, man. Well, we know what you know what I'm talking about. If you close all the apps and just open the one that you are using at the, uh, at the time and don't let the others run at the background, then it's uh, uh, it's it, it will last longer. And this is not a operating system dependent, so it is just your own usage and the capacity of the battery that 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 you have, you have purchased. So if I'm going to buy a device, I'd ask myself, look, do I want a device that will uh, put in my pocket, I don't have a battery bank, and I can just go on and on and on and use? So I walk to the store, and I look at the capacity of the batteries, and I pick the one that will that, that has very high capacity. Uh, but those ones will be, will be heavy. 
because the high battery capacity will mean that it is uh, it, it, it has components that 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 will make it you know slightly heavy and bulky. So that, that's something we need to know. Yes, any other question? Thank you, sir. Thank you, uh, good day. Now, uh, let me ask the question: If uh, you were a developer and you want to develop an app, you of course, obviously, will go for the Android because the Android will give you some open source platform within which you will develop your app. Uh, for instance, uh, at the Open and Distance Learning and Research Institute of Lasso, we are about now developing mobile apps for delivering our courseware, you know, to people. It's just like, if you wanted, let me just put this one on and just show it uh, what's happening now. Uh, yeah, okay. I'll just show this quickly. Yeah, so if you go to the app store here, you'll find so many of these apps. In a little while, after developing our app, you'll find it available and the it's this kind of operating system, the Android, that will allow us, you know, easily. Busayo, you're having some disturbance from your end, please. Uh -huh. uh, the Busayo, you want me to drop you off? Yeah. So the Open and Distance Learning and Research Institute app for Lasso. I'm actually leading the development of this. So it will you download, our students will download from anywhere, and they will only be able to access, of course, if they are paid and, 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 uh, and, and all of that. So the the android will appear you know to be yeah, to be the most favored because you know people like easy things cheap things but the uh, the will you like you you like uh, pirated software like all of you yes. yeah so you see the, the, this you, we talk about the stability and we know that the uh, ios by apple uh, will appear to have a lot of security embedded embedded in it uh, more than the others. You know, for the for the reason that if you have a if if you have a a, a tour or a platform, uh, Busayo, you, you you are still disturbing us. You have a platform where many people can just come and do whatever. Uh, the chances of the thing being hit by hackers or also will be high. But if you have you have a protected environment that before you enter. You, you must have to pay something. You must have to uh, be cautious in what you do. So security is uh, uh, greater than you will have observed that uh, security on your iOS is uh, really, really good. And in the case of Windows, it's also good because Windows will keep checking out if there are uh, holes in your network or your system and providing patches you know, to seal these holes. But the, the truth of the matter is that those who call them who are hackers, you know, they are also part of the business. So they, they are always a jump ahead, you know. So we almost then strive to uh, be uh, be uh, on our toes and also uh, try to explore how uh, leakages, how leakages in our networks, you know, can be can be blocked. And that's why we we came up with this component of cyber security uh, in the. Uh, basic, basic security theory course that uh, we have done. So the question for all of you, and I'll go across the table now, is uh, seeing the rapidity with which the OS operating systems are developing and seeing the different angles, or rather different operating systems that are coming up. There, there, there are very many of them, like uh, Uchina, you know, pointed out. There are quite a number of these operating systems. So what will you see as the future of operating systems in the computing world? Uh, Busayo, please. Uh, Solomon, can you answer that question? Uh, sir, thank you, sir. Uh, the future of, of, of operating system is bright. Yes. Because uh, the needs the need of people, like you told us, when you are to start developing a software, you must do need assessment. Yes. And every day, the 
manufacturers or the vendors, the software vendors, continue to seek to know the level at which people are going in Great. their thinking. Great. What kind of devices that can suit the people's needs at that particular point in time? So, in future of uh, operating system, light heavily on the on demand. Very good. The customers are the, the people who are sharing the market. Okay, thank you so much. You have you've done it very well. Excellent. I give you an eight there, Jeremiah. Future of operating systems. Thank you, sir. Uh, Busayo, you have the floor. Uh, Uchina, you have the floor. Okay, I I see more um, operating systems interacting more with each other in the sense that apps can be like now we have some apps that cannot work in one operating system and it, it's working in another operating system. For instance, we have apps working in iOS that can work in Windows phones or Windows um, operating system. I see apps being able to work across the operating system. I think if it can get a particular operating system that is able to access apps that can work uh, all around, developed by different um, software manufacturers. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Very... The, the uh, sorry, Busayo. No, uh -huh. Busayo, don't jump in. We, we have passed you. Go ahead, Uchena. You might just jump in. in. Yeah, go ahead, Uchena. Okay, so I, I see. Busayo, they are laughing at you. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. go, go ahead, Uchena. Go ahead, yes. Okay. 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 That's fine. There's some disturbance coming from your end. So, uh, Demola Lawa. Demola Lawa. Demola Lawa. There's noise coming from your end, please. There's noise coming from your end. Now, Uchena, I agree with you, but let me tell you something interesting. It is not the app that will decide for itself where it's going to show up, which operating system is going to show up. It is the developer of the operating system that will give a landing space, a, uh, the, the ground for that app to work. So you, you, you said um, correctly, too, that uh, you, you envision a future where uh, the app can you know appear in all of this it's not the app, app by itself it is the developers that will agree a particular developer will agree that okay i want this particular app to feature here so and let's don't forget what solomon said is based on need if the survey of a particular uh, uh, os developer windows android people google and uh, the apple people now find that there's a particular app that everybody is looking for. So they'll be shortchanging themselves if they don't allow that app to feature on their own. The people will just move away from, from, from them. So the, the matter that Solomon brought up is quite important. The feature rests in demand, in the use by people, if people show the need or show appetite or thirst for a particular app, then uh, the iOS will evolve, you know, along along that direction. Billy. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, yes, I agree with what you have just said concerning the point from Solomon. But I also want to talk about the scalability. Yes, and scalability. The minimum use of data. Yes. You know, the iOS or the OS of the future has to be based on a framework that is very scalable yes. and continuous very backward good. compatibility to technology that Excellent. Uh, that matter. Excellent. Easy update without building function. Exactly. You cannot keep getting cycles where an OS reaches its uh, elastic limit. Good. Eh? Good. And a fresh reboot is needed. So That's this true. has to be taken into consideration. Wonderful. Then what it has to do with minimum use of data. Data use will probably be the most important factor for the future where all current mobiles and desktop OS besides BlackBerry OS are uh, serious, are serious uh, data hubs. At the yeah. current rate of consumption and growth, service provider cannot even keep up to cannot even keep up for too long. Even right now, you yes. see what we are experiencing in Nigeria. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Willie. You have done. You've said it all. Very wonderful. I mean, you 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 uh, you talk about scalability. Uh, you talk about the up uh, uh, 
uh, downward or backward compatibility. Those are very, very important issues. Demolawa. Yeah, it's gone to sleep. Okay, now, uh, all of you, uh, are you... But the point that I want to raise, and that's the point of... Uh... Hello, sir. Yeah, you come Hello? too slowly. You come too slowly when we are when you are called upon. So, but go ahead. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Uh, it's the point of uh, privacy, because I get to notice that all these, our OS now, are giving room to all leaking our private information. And I'm getting to see that just a minute, just a minute, just a minute, Lawa. Leaking our private what? Our private information. No, no, listen, listen, listen. No, no, no. I, I called you back to let you know that information is singular, information is plural, not informations. No problem. Uh, our personal information are actively digitized, and sometimes without our, um, without our consent. So they are, they are, It's just like I see they are, we are being extorted of some private information. So all these OS and apps that have been designed nowadays are getting too private enough that in the nearest future it will be easy for hackers to just um, have access to our information without our knowledge. Yes. What choice do you have in the matter? The choice you have in the matter is not to use the app, and then you'll be like uh, somebody in the in the Stone Age. That's the, it's a, look. This is cost benefit. This one is looking at the positive side and the negative side. If you want to sign on to an app, it will ask you, gentleman or gentlewoman. These are the terms. Although the terms are written in very small print, so you may not be able to even care about it. You say you agree. When you agree, they take all the data that they, they need to take. You see, although, they, although it's free, but there are some hidden costs. Hidden costs would mean that they can take your data, and that will be basis for them to provide it to some commercial uh, people to uh, pro propagate, or if you like, uh, to sell their wares to you. So it's a choice, Dima uh, Alawa. Um, if you don't want your data to be to be known by anybody or to be shared by anybody, then don't go there. Don't sign up for the app. But I tell you, we're living in a world where there is, again, no longer a secret. We're living in a world where you, you are not, no, no, nothing, there's nothing secret about anything again. Uh, if you walk I, I, I mean, Addis now, although that's, that, that, that's not in, that, that doesn't uh, feature much in Addis. But if you go to any of the European countries or American countries or countries in the developed world, as soon as you step out of your room, you are, you are, surveillance cameras are on you. Anything you do, you are covered. I mean, you are, you are, you are, so there's no hiding place again for, for anybody. Uh, Today, this is the 29th of November, 2017. You can, if you tune to CNN, actually CNN is there at, at, at my back here, you find a report of people 20 years ago, 30 years ago, that they have been sexually harassed, harassed by, by men or women or whatever. So, no secret again in this world, no secret. And it's going to get the future is that it will be difficult for people to keep any secret. Look, look at the United States. Look. They said President uh, Trump had uh, had the party with the, the Russians. They alleged that they had a party with the Russians, and things are coming 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 up. So any OS or any software or any device these days or any person these days that will want to think that life is private in the, in the in the world of the future that I've seen now, there's no privacy. Okay, uh, that should be it for for today. Uh, I'm told that Friday is a public holiday uh, in Nigeria uh, for Molud. Pardon? Exactly. That. Yeah. So what is going to happen in, is that my flight comes in at 12 noon, and I'm going to drive straight to Lasso. So our class before exams will start at, uh, let's see now, Let's put it at 2 o'clock. I'm just going to run one hour with you. Uh, 12 noon, excuse me. Uh, let's see, 12 noon. 
12, 1, 2. Yeah, 2 p.m. tomorrow in Lasso. In, in, because we're already scheduled for Friday, but Friday is not on now. And you're, you're starting exams on Monday, the 4th of December, 2017. So we're going to see uh, tomorrow, 30th of November at uh, 2 p.m. So uh, if, you're, if you know you cannot make it, then that's fine. But I'm going to be available, and any member of the class that's uh, going to be available will make it. So we're pu pushing back our meeting uh, class for Friday, moving it to Thursday tomorrow on account of the public holiday happening. Because after that public holiday, the following Monday, exams will start. So, okay, class, enjoy the rest of the evening. Uh, it's, uh, let's see the time. It's, uh, yeah, it's about 18 minutes to 10 in your place. It's um, two hours in front of you, ahead of you, excuse me, in Addis. Addis Ababa, uh, I'm close to midnight here. So, I also need some sleep, sleep, sleep. Okay. Observation, sir. Yes, observation. Bele, the class um, captain. Uh, we are, yes, sir. We, before the class, we are trying to deliberate on your new picture of Kai. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. I took it. By the way, I took the picture in one of the studios when I was when we were leaving the meeting today. I took the picture in one of the studios. I actually have some nice, pictures. Sir. Hold on. I actually have some pictures that I took. Let me just see. Yesterday after our meeting. I'll just send that picture to you right now. Just stand by. Uh, let's see. You are fine, sir. Wow. You are very, uh, very nice, sir. Yeah, those are the pictures I took yesterday. You can see the date stamp. I always like to put leave the date stamp on uh, my... Let me see, November... I, I'm trying to get uh, attendance. November 29th. I have the attendance all running there. You can see it, can't you? Yeah. All right, so let's bring the class to a close. I'll see you tomorrow at uh, 2 o'clock. Uh, so, good night, everybody. Good night, sir. God bless you. Good night. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Thank you, sir.